Hello beautiful Cancers, how are you today? We're going to jump right in with your love reading. It's going to be immediately followed by the things that your love likes about you best after we do the clarifiers. So let's get started with this reading, Cancer. I'm excited you're here with me. My name is Donna. Welcome to the channel. Your overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles, looking at your investment in a relationship with your significant other. In the recent past, the two of you have had a beautiful connection, very passionate, very fiery, a lot of communication going back and forth. Currently, your energy with your love interest is the Aries Emperor. I wanted to say the Aries King. I don't know why. Aries Queen. So we see the Emperor card, and it's really about having the authority to take charge in a relationship and to make moves in your relationship together as a team. When we look at how your person views the situation that's going on between the two of you right now, we do see some sort of thorny issue, something that they don't want to have to deal with. The Two of Swords is, I'm not ready to make a decision. I don't really know what I'm doing, but, you know, I'm thinking about it. How they view you, Cancer, Ace of Coins, they view you as the diamond in their life. This is oftentimes an engagement ring, but this is a person who is willing to give to the relationship. They see you as very grounded, very loving, very giving, and very sincere. In their heart space, the Ace of Swords energy, they have great clarity about what they want with you. They know the direction of the relationship. We have three aces, guys, gals. That's an incredible beginning to a love relationship reading. The only one missing is the Ace of Cups right now. So let's take a look. But your person knows exactly what they want in the relationship. And one of the things that they love about you in their heart space is they feel that you're very, very honest. And that is important to them. How they view the situation moving forward, the relationship gaining momentum, the Page of Cups, a very sweet, soft energy, one that doesn't carry a lot of momentum. It's about living in the moment, enjoying the time that you have together. And they see this as a very sweet time in their life with you. The hidden energy between the two of you is a page of swords. You're both very curious about each other. You're both very much in the energy of checking each other out, keeping tabs with each other. It can mean a lot of texting back and forth. Spirit's recommendation. Oh, la la, I like it. The magician card. It really speaks to the fact that um, you have all the tools to have the relationship and to build the relationship that you want with your person. Go for it is what spirit is saying. Your outcome at this time is the queen of swords ahead of her heart decision and love. Remaining very, um, very grounded, very even keeled, locking your heart in a cage, you know, basically saying, I'm going to make sure that this person is who I think they are. It does look like a new relationship for many or most of you because we have three aces and we see they're more of a lighthearted feeling with the page of cups. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards and see what we have coming in before we do the, the things that they like about you. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Why is it here? Why is it Seven of Pentacles here? So both of you are invested in the relationship. Ooh, nice. The Honey, I'm Home card, Cancer. You have arrived in your reading in style, my friends. That's quite a good looking chariot. So it does show that both of you want to move forward very rapidly. Both of you want to invest rapidly, but both of you are checking each other out uh, very closely, you're looking at them to see if they bring value to the relationship, and they're looking at you to make sure that you're as honest as they think you are, Cancer. So why do we have the Ace of Wands here? The Eight of Wands, lots of passion, lots of communication. That is moving forward very rapidly. So it speaks to the fact that you both may decide to travel together. You may take, like, literally airfare but it, it speaks volumes to the fact that you're moving forward at lightning speed to have fun. 
We also see that you're enjoying talking with each other. Evidently, you have lots of very similar views. Um, it, it really is a card that shows me that you may have met at work. You may have a great rapport with somebody with artistic abilities, but both of you are very good. Like when you're together, the two of you are a powerful team. We also see the Princess of Swords having a lot of clarity. Speaking the truth, we, when we get the Page of Swords, the Princess of Swords is the same card. So it speaks once again to the fact that you may have met on the internet um, and that or a dating site, something along those lines, but you know each other well enough to check one another out on your social media. So we see the Emperor Heart card here, and it is clarified by the King of Pentacles. Both of you are looking for a person with the same values as you. You're very strategic in this relationship. You both know what you want. You're both very mature. And the energy that you have right now is to create something of abundance, to be dedicated to one another, to really uh, nurture one another, to stand by one another's side and, and really act as a cheerleader, uh, a fan, a friend, a lover, um, as you advance through life, someone to share a lot with. So that's great energy. It is known as a daddy card, somebody who wants to also take care of you, Cancer. I like it. Okay. We also have the Magician card again. The Magician card speaking to the fact that you have all the tools necessary to have an amazing life together, to have an amazing love together. It means that intellectually, emotionally, at a practical level, um, and a communication level, the fire in your belly, is very well matched between the two of you. Your person is in this moon energy, the two of swords energy. Why is the moon in the two of swords here? That's an unusual combination in that spot, to be perfectly honest. Why is this person fearful? Well, they see you as a very fiery, definitive person. I would almost say that your person's a little bit nervous about what you will think about the real them that gets revealed with time. Your person feels a little bit uncomfortable. They feel as though you're very outgoing, you're very well-spoken. They may not feel as though they have the verbal acuity that you do. Oh, look at this. <gasps> the Tower card and the other card that flipped over at the same time is a two of cups. Oh, wow. Okay, so this really is a good clarifier. It speaks to the fact that your person normally has fear about intimacy and relationship. And that with you, it's coming as a total shock, a total surprise that they have fallen in love with you. Wow. Two of cups. Surprise, a surprise, you know, that happens all the time. People call and say, well, when I was least expecting it, Donna, <laughs> during our readings, I fell in love. I met this great person, and that's what it looks like has happened. So again, this looks like, for most of you, a new love reading. Somebody who's new in your life, not somebody that you've necessarily known. So let's see why they see you as a, the Ace of Pentacles. Why do they see you as... A very strong self-starter and motivator. We have the judgment card. They feel as though you have a goal in mind. You know exactly where you're going. The nine of pentacles, single, ready to mingle. Very powerful. Very, you don't need anybody. You are very much in your own energy. And they see you as a person who is has built wealth for themselves. A person who knows how to save money. A person who knows exactly where they're going. That's And I feel as though they don't have the same clarity as you do. I feel as though they have some discomfort that you may even judge them um, differently because they don't have the same clarity. So what do we see here for this Ace of Swords? Why is this person so happy that you're telling the truth? Look at that. You are a rock star. They love you. This is a card of hopes and dreams for love coming true. It is the fulfillment card of everything that your person has wanted. 
And again, it has come out of the blue like a lightning strike. We see the energy of the emperor. Wow, lots of duplication. So we've had the magician twice here, and now the emperor twice in the row that represents the heart and spirit and where you're at today. So this is both of you moving forward here towards a destination called love, and your person is in the same energy. You are the one. You are the one. They are smitten with you. It's coming as a total shock to them. They see you as beautiful inside, beautiful outside, but they are in love. And your emperor is not going to let anybody or any situation deter the pursuit with that chariot card. A lot of major arcanas. What a great reading. So we have the Page of Cups here. Why is it that they see this relationship in very, uh, very mild terms? Okay, here we go. I'm going to remove this to reveal the Ace of Cups flipped over. Oh, beautiful. So the Page of Cups is somebody who could be younger than you. Uh, they could have less experience than you. But what we see is a beautiful energy of two people holding hands, holding their hearts together. It needs to be more grounded. But look at that beautiful cup of love overflowing with love. So your person, there's our four aces, guys. We have, here we have the ace of wands. I said we were missing only one ace, and that was the ace of cups. We have the ace of cups. We have the ace of coins. And we have the ace of swords. The trifecta of aces. You are in a totally magical energy in this in with all the aces that magician card has manifested a relationship for you cancer beautiful it's just an undeniable flow of love between you and your person what else do we need to know your person has gone through a really tough time it looks as though they're very thrilled at the turn of events but your person, that the energy that they have in this situation is also one that shows that they have wounds from the past. They have been treated uh, very, in a difficult way with someone in the past who lied to them. And swords are about truth. So we see this person really entering this beautiful energy of the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Work. Perfect work. This is hard to see, actually. Yeah. Perfect work. So it is actually, it's a four of wands. I'm sorry, this is a new deck for me. Visually, it's a little bit hard to see. But we see four wands here. And so your person feels as though you are the one. I would be a little bit careful, though. When I get the five of swords energy, when they see the path forward, they might try to take some shortcuts. The Four of Wands, your person is very intent on what they want with you. So we're going to see if that, the Four of Wands, oh, I love it because it is stability. Your person definitely wants stability, and I'm still reading this as they've been very wounded by someone else, and they have a love of the truth. So I don't see any counter indications to that, contrary indications. The Page of Swords, why is it here? Why are you spying on each other? Oh, the lover's card. So you are both trying to check one another out to see if you have anyone else you want to know. This is a soulmate card. It is the two of you. This is your hidden energy between the two of you. The three of wands. You feel as though the ship has come in. This is your soulmate. The two of cups is a soulmate card also. The four of wands is the card of marriage building a foundation, buying a home together. So I like this new start. All right. So what do we have here for the Magician card? Why is the Magician card here? In your reading, Cancer, we have the Princess of Pentacles. So both of you very much want to move forward, but you don't want the sole focus to be financial gain or security. You both want to be See what the other person brings to the table. That is what Spirit is recommending. 
And, you know, make a small offer in love. Don't go overboard right now. Three of Cups, beautiful. That's like the, your best friends. The energy spirit is saying you've met your best friend and lover. The Justice card, that can include a marriage license. It can also include a proposal of marriage. Because the seventh house of justice card is Libra energy and it rules the seventh house. So don't rush marriage, I would say, but it does show that you're headed in that direction with spirit's blessing. When we see the justice card, we also see paperwork for buying a home. It could also mean that somebody's finalizing a divorce. But let's see what we have for this beautiful Libra queen here. What do we have for Libra Queen? What is the energy here? We have Ten of Cups, happily ever after. That is a joyful card of equal give and take. Two people coming to the table with their hearts open, building a future, possibly having a family, possibly sharing a marriage. But both of you are very much in the energy of knowing what you want. You have exactly the tools to get what you want. Let's see. Okay, so that's fantastic. Love this. Let's look and see what the Seven Energies Oracle has to say about the relationship. And momentarily, we will go to the phase where I tell you what they like best about you. Smoke and mirrors. Okay, so we did see the Five of Swords here, and we saw some cards of... Your person may not be totally honest with you, even though they want honesty from you. I would say that you're headed towards marriage, but there are some warning signs on the trail. You have the Five of Swords, which it looks like it's your person who was wounded. But just to be really safe in the situation, I would say that your person has not been fully accurate in the way that they've told you or described their past love life. We see some smoke and mirrors here. So you definitely have to keep your eyes wide open, Cancer, to make sure that you know what the truth is before you make a big commitment. Spirit says, make a big commitment slowly, but move in that direction. We have waking the lion, rawr, rawr. <laughs> Yeah. So basically, you are waking one another very profoundly, very romantically. The heat is, is the temperature is hot in the room, and it is what it is. So it speaks to the fact that you basically see very much what you're getting yourself into. It looks lovely to me, and it looks like a relationship that is coming after a time of difficulty for your partner. You look as though you've been very stable for a long time, but I would say that you may have a partner who's gone through a recent divorce, and that's why we see the cards of difficulty in their on their side. Five of Swords here, they weren't treated very well in the past, they were treated poorly, and they have a lot of fears about relationships. So let's see what they like best about you, Cancer. Oh, here we go. Eight of Pentacles, they love that you are a hard, reliable worker. They feel as though you're well-grounded, that you're always open to learning something new. We have the Seven of Swords. They like the fact that you are cagey. They like the fact that if somebody were to do, you know, really, quote unquote, do you dirty, such an awkward sentence, but that you would definitely, ha you have this queen of swords energy that you've, you know, you've been, you've had some episodes in your life when you were not treated well by others and you used, you, you made a head over heart decision. So we have the queen of swords twice here. And it really speaks to the fact they love that you would stand up for yourself, that you'd walk away from someone who treated you badly. So it is also something that they're learning about you, and they hold you in high regard for that. The King of Pentacles energy, again, the energy of someone who's very nurturing, who's very uh, prosperous, who is, they see you as a person who they can really count on that you have their back. It's the daddy nurturing card. So what else do we have for what they like about you? Well, they like a lot about you, but let's pull the card out that flipped over. And it is the Empress. Oh, they see you as the embodiment 
of the planet Venus. Everything that's loving they see as beautiful, nurturing, kind, uh, very sensual. They see you as the ultimate woman, the ultimate person of choice for them. We have the emperor twice, so we have that energy right there. So we have divine, divine partnership coming into play here in this reading. So let's see what else they love about you or they like about you best. The Five of Pentacles, they can be very real with you. Your person feels as though you've been very open to them, that when they have told you stories about, you know, the, the interesting facts of their life that are shadowed or dark, they feel as though you're very compassionate. They feel as though you're a warm place in a cold world. So the Five of Pentacles says that you are more than happy to take them in, to listen to them, to nurture them, um, and it, because it says that they have a lot of old wounds. They love the Three of Cups. They love the fact that you are their best friend. That is the energy of best friends and lovers. The Three of Cups is also with the Ace of Coins, which we had. I believe this is the Ace of Coins. Yes, the Ace of Coins and their Three of Cups typically will indicate when seen together in a reading that there will be most likely an engagement ring in the future. The Two of Pentacles, they love the fact that you don't rush into things, that you weigh things very carefully, that you think about all the different options, that you don't, you're just, you're not impulsive, that you take the time to consider everything carefully. Ten of Pentacles, they feel as though they can build a legacy with you. They feel as though the two of you are a great team, two working hands, two people who want abundance and happiness and all the good things in life. The Seven of Pentacles has now made a second appearance in the reading. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, they love the fact that you are willing to do the work and put the effort in. So that's what I have for your cancer so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me if you like this feature in the reading. Tell me where you're from also. Thank you. Bye-bye.